Perspectives Podcast proudly brings to you the weekend news with your host Matt Lavelle and Burn Podcasty. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the weekend news. I'm Matt Lavelle and I'm Burn Podcasty. Let's get right to the top stories of the day. Our first story. Disney World and other Orlando theme parks to close in anticipation of Hurricane Milton. That's what we're hearing. Hurricane Milton is barreling towards the Florida coast, prompting Disney World and other major Orlando theme parks to shut down operations as a precautionary measure. Millions of visitors are being impacted by the closures as the storm is expected to bring significant rainfall and strong winds to the region. From what we're hearing, with all the theme parks closing, it sounds like there really now is no reason whatsoever to go to Florida. Moving on to our next story, we'll be reporting on a former City Hall official arrested and charged with witness tampering and destroying evidence. We have some trouble in the Big Apple. The ongoing scandal surrounding Mayor Eric Adams has taken a dramatic turn. As a former City Hall official has been arrested and charged with witness tampering and destroying evidence, the charges are related to the mayor's controversial dealings with a real estate developer. This latest development is sure to intensify the scrutiny facing Mayor Adams and his administration. I'll tell you, I truly feel for the victims of this scandal. If these people want true peace, they should move to a city like Philadelphia, where something like this could never happen. Next up, we have more weird shit happening in the world. Apparently, multiple states are suing TikTok and claiming the platform is addictive and harms the mental health of children. I'll tell you, who could have seen this one coming? A group of states has filed a lawsuit against TikTok, alleging the platform is addictive and harmful to the mental health of children. The states are seeking to hold TikTok accountable for its practices and protect young users. TikTok has denied the allegations and defended its efforts to promote safety and well-being on its platform. When reaching out to the states that are suing TikTok, they responded by saying, Just give me my money. Now let's turn our attention to good old Garth Brooks, who's been accused of sexual assault and battery by his hairstylist. Ain't this a good old honky-tonk? Country music superstar Garth Brooks is facing serious allegations of sexual assault and battery by a former hairstylist. The woman has filed a lawsuit against Brooks detailing the alleged incidents. Garth Brooks' representative has issued a statement denying the allegations and vowing to fight the lawsuit. We followed up on this story and reached out to Garth Brooks' people, and they said that Garth Brooks isn't available for comment, but someone named Chris Gaines has pled guilty to all charges. What a relief. In other world-shattering news, Hannah Smith, who is a TV personality from the show Love Island USA, has been accused of threatening to kill a cop. Isn't this a kick in the old keister? Reality TV star Hannah Smith, known for her appearance on the show Love Island USA, has been arrested and charged with threatening to kill a police officer. The incident allegedly occurred during a traffic stop. Smith's attorney has not yet released a statement in response to the charges. When viewing the police cam footage, we saw that this all took place after Hannah Smith tried to get out of the ticket by asking the police officer to couple up. The police officer refused. Dropping in next, Las Vegas will blow the long kiss goodbye to the Tropicana with a flashy implosion. This is just tragic for all the slot machine hussies out there. Apparently, the iconic Tropicana Casino Hotel in Las Vegas will soon be no more. The property is scheduled for demolition with a spectacular implosion planned for later this month. The implosion will mark the end of an era in Las Vegas as the Tropicana has been a fixture on the Strip for decades. When reaching out to the Tropicana for comment, they responded by saying that they knew this was coming because they were on borrowed time since OJ imploded. Do you get it, Tropicana, OJ? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'm leaving that in. Here we mm-hmm. go. And now we'll look back at the life of MLB legend Louis Tion, the charismatic Red Sox pitching ace, dead at the age of 83. 
Well, that's a one, two, three strikes, and he's out of there. We come to you tonight with a heavy heart. Louis Tion, the charismatic left-handed pitcher who became a beloved figure in Boston during his time with the Red Sox, has died at the age of 83. Tion was known for his flamboyant style and his ability to mesmerize fans with his unique delivery. Tion's contributions to the Red Sox and baseball as a whole will not be forgotten. When asking AI to write something nice about a player who retired before I was born, they wrote, Louis Tion's pitches were as unpredictable as his smile. And Boston still sucks. Well, hold on to your butts, because our next story is a tragic one. A 40-year-old man falls 200 feet to his death while canyoneering at a national park. That's the word we are getting. We're told that a 40-year-old man has died after falling 200 feet while canyoneering in the national park. The incident is under investigation by park officials. The tragic accident serves as a reminder of the dangers associated with outdoor activities. When researching this story, we're pleased to find out that the man's last words were, Yee-hoo! Now transitioning to the world of sports, we're getting word that the New York Jets have fired head coach Robert Sala after a disappointing start to the 2024 season. That's the word we're getting from the head office. According to ESPN, the New York Jets have fired head coach Robert Sala after the team's disappointing 2-3 and three start to the season. Sala's tenure with the Jets was marked with inconsistency and frustration among fans. The Jets are now searching for a new coach to lead the team in the coming years. When reaching out to star quarterback Aaron Rodgers for comment, he responded by saying that he was lacking with immunization play calls. And moving on to our final story tonight, we have some good news. The CIA shared new instructions online to try and recruit foreign spies. Now this is next level espionage. According to sources, the Central Intelligence Agency has released new instructions online for individuals interested in becoming foreign spies. The agency is hoping to attract a new generation of recruits to its ranks. While the CIA's recruitment methods have evolved over the years, the agency vows that the mission remains the same, to gather intelligence and protect the United States. When doing research on this story, we were able to get a look at a list of potential candidates. And some of the names include Gladmir Putain, Kimmy Jong-un, with two N's, and Obama Bin Laden. Sounds promising. Absolutely. And that's all for tonight. Thanks for letting Daddy smack it. Speaking of letting Daddy smack it, this has been another episode of The Weekend News brought to you by the Working Perspectives Podcast. In case you're wondering, you can find all our stuff and all our content and all podcast platforms and YouTube at Working Perspectives Podcast. You can us on Instagram at Working Perspectives Podcast. You can join us on Twitter and TikTok at Working P Pod. And if you'd like to be a guest on the show, Please email us at workingperspectives at gmail.com. And please like and subscribe. And we'll keep bringing you this sweet, sweet content. Thanks for listening. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks. See you. Thank you for watching another episode of the Working Perspectives Podcast. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.